Hey, it's Ethan here and welcome back. So, now that we have our eyebrow drawn, it's time to fill in the iris. So, the first step is um, the easiest, which is to fill in the dark of the people. Um, this would be your equivalent of the cast shadow. So, we're going to want to make this as close to black as possible. So, I'm just going to fill this area in completely dark. All right, and now the next step is to draw in this little bit of shadow right there uh, the, at the top of the iris. Uh, this shadow is created by the uh, eyelashes <clears throat> casting a shadow onto the iris. So this part is a tad bit lighter. It would be the equivalent of the uh, shadow's edge and it will be sort of a dark gray. All right, now I'm just going to draw the outline for it and then shade it in. Right here I notice that there's a bit of a white uh, a few specks of white so I'll try to leave this area blank and shade around it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, next we're going to work on the rest of the iris. So if you look at the reference photo, you notice that the tone on the iris has this uh, ray-like pattern where it looks like this little, uh, this little ray um, sh pointing out away from the pupil and it goes to the edge of the iris, all right? And then in the middle, there's sort of a, a layer of light tone there. So we want to mimic that look. And we're going to do that by using these um, back and forth, in and out motion with our pencil uh, away from the pupil. So I'm just going to do this motion here very lightly with our pencil. Just like that and we'll try to match the shape of this tone to the reference photo. There's a bit of a white spot right there, so I'll go around it. And we'll fill in this area between the catch light and the pupil. Okay. Alright, and now we're going to do uh, the same thing except going around the edge of the iris. I'm going to leave a little bit of distance uh, between the edge and my pencil because uh, I don't want to go outside the line. We'll come back and use a circular motion to fill in that space later. Right now I just want to create that, that ray-like look. Okay, and we'll come back and make them a little bit darker. Okay, and then we'll fill in the blank spot.
Okay, so now we'll fill in the area in between using very light um, back and forth motion. So we'll stick with the same pencil motion, but we're just going to lighten our touch a lot. And it's okay if you leave a little unevenness between your pencil strokes. You don't have to fill them in all the way. Uh, it's good that you leave some white space because that will mimic the look in the reference photo. So I'm actually keeping my pencil strokes very uh, sparse. Again, here's a little white space. I'll shade around it. Okay, so that's pretty much all the tone we have to put in. Now we're going to take our tortillon and blend it all together. You want to be gentle at first, don't press down too hard. Um, and we'll start with the darker area. Okay, and then when I blend the edge of the iris, I'm actually going to use the same motion as I did with the pencil. So I'm just going to go up and down towards the pupil so that we can keep with that ray light look. And try to keep it a little bit uneven so that looks more natural. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing for, for the uh, tones that are near the pupil. Okay. And then I'll lightly blend the center part. Again, still keeping with the same motion. Okay, so you can take your pencil and retouch the edge a little bit. Fill in any white spots that might be there. Maybe darken the ring. Okay, so that's pretty much the whole process for drawing the iris. Uh, go ahead and do that to your drawing. And then in the next video, we're going to draw in the eyelashes. All right, so. If you like this video, please hit the like button below and then make sure to check your email and tune in to tomorrow's lesson. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.